to hold an evening Vespers at San Marcos Lutheran Church. We are so pleased that you can join us however you are able to join us. We want to encourage you as well to reach out to one another during this time. Pray for one another and let us know if there's any way that we can reach out and pray with you or meet any other needs that you would like to tell us about. So we will enjoy this evening together. We encourage you to sing along. This evening, I'd like to start with a quote that's been very helpful to me during this anxious time. In every situation, we have two choices. The first choice is to resist, to clench, to hold on. And the second choice is to soften, relax, and let go. Choose the latter, and the divine hand will catch you. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light of darkness can overcome. Stay for it with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your
surround and fill us so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. The reading I have tonight is from Paul's letter to the Romans, the 8th chapter beginning at verse 31. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who then is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm glad that you are a part of this whole evening prayer. When we think about the Vesper service, the evening prayers, Christians have been doing this for 2,000 years. Different music, different uh, variation on the words, but basically evening prayer. Prayer at the end of the day, so that they may collect their thoughts about what's transpired during this day, and then hopefully to let go and let God guide them through the night. What then shall we say about this? That's St. Paul's question. And that's our question as well, isn't it? A global pandemic, our lives disrupted as never before, at least in my lifetime. The fear that I know all of us have and deal with and isolation, lack of community, all adding up When we need community the most, we aren't able to get together with those often that we love. Social distancing and voluntary and forced isolation, it's done for the sake of the good, the good of the body, the good of the whole, but still, it's separating us. And I think it's okay to acknowledge, I know it's okay to acknowledge that we're afraid that we're anxious and we don't know exactly how this will all end. And that's normal. 
and that's okay to have those feelings. Yet Christians have always listened to this word that is crazy when you compare it to the words we hear from the world. This amazing word that in spite of everything else that we face, nothing can separate us from the love of God. That's what St. Paul is writing to these Christians in Corinth who know about their own kind of separation and persecution they've been going through. But he lets them know that in the end, it is Christ who conquers. And it's the love of Christ that is stronger even than death and fear and separation. You and I are loved by this God. You and I are loved by the love of Christ Jesus. And in that love is an embrace and God holds us in tender care and God will not let us go. God loves each of us so desperately. We need one another now more than ever, so we need to do things like this, worship in a virtual way. We need to reach out to one another through phone calls, texts, FaceTime, whatever it is, emails, cards. Let one another know that we're not alone and that God is with us. Your pastors pray for you. And we think about you day by day, and we covet your prayers for us and for the leadership of San Marcos Lutheran Church. Because we shall get through this together, and we'll be able to get through it together not because you and I are so wise, and not because you and I are so strong, but we get through this because God is strong. And God's love will never, ever, ever, ever give up on us. God's love will endure. And that's our, our hope. This promise of this eternal, everlasting love of God. God with us now. And God's love with us forever and ever. We continue with the Annunciation and the Magnificat. Thank you. 
Keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. Gracious God, it is good for us to gather as your beloved in community. We treasure your presence with us in word and meal, song and prayer. Be with us in these days when gathering together as often as we would like is not possible. When we must be apart for reasons of safety, we trust that you surround us with your sheltering wings. Encourage us in connecting as we are able reaching out to our neighbors in need, and being persistent in prayer. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our constant companion. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the blessing. Let us bless our God. Thank you.